This video is coming to you from Taylor & Sons Chevrolet in Sandpoint, Idaho, and we are filming a 2012 Chevy Silverado Crew Cab. Uh, it's graystone in color with the ebony cloth interior. The truck has 46,700 plus miles on it. It has uh, the 5.3 liter V8 engine with the uh, active fuel management capability that shuts the cylinders down when the truck is not under load. And with that, you get as much as the rating on the highway is 21 miles per gallon. Uh, the, it has a six speed automatic transmission. Um, you have a driver power seat, dual zone climate control, and heavy duty trailering with power windows and locks. Uh, on this video, I'm going to walk the, around the outside and uh, detail any flaws that I see in the outside, and then I will move to the interior. I'm going to start in the front left quarter panel here on the truck. And the truck seems to be fairly straight. I don't see any major scratches or dings in the front quarter panel here. This is the tread that is on the right tire, on the left front tire, I'm sorry. And it looks like it has plenty of tread wear left on the tires. The wheels uh, have a little bit of corrosion, or, or it looks like they might have scraped a, a corner, uh, you know, a curb or something right there. But other than that, the wheel looks good. Coming down the side. Everything looks okay with the mirrors. The driver's side door looks to be straight, clean, no dings. Same thing with the uh, pass or the passenger, the back side on the driver's side, back seat door. And the left side of the truck has got some marks here, but they're they're dirt, I believe, right here. Those are dirt. Coming down this side, there are a few marks. On the truck here, that you can see where my finger is right there. There's a little, there's a little nick in the paint right there, and a few little light scratches right here, and that's just from things being loaded in and out of the bed, I'm sure. This is the uh, tread on the back tire, and then the wheel again. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. The actual weight here on the wheel, which is not part of the wheel, has a little, little bit of rust, but that's uh, neither here nor there. Coming back around the down the side, looks like there's a tiny little scratch right here, and another little mark right above my finger right there. Moving around the back side, everything looks straight. Don't see any dings or scratches in the back. Um, there's a little bit of wear right here. I don't know if you can see it in the video or not. On this probably with any kind of uh, armor all or something that would probably go away. The top rail here has a little bit of wear, but that, quite frankly, that's where we see wear on most of the trucks. Now, the back, this truck was used, in fact, as a truck, so the bed is scratched. And what a lot of people do in this situation is just to get a spray-in bed liner because they have to scratch the truck up anyway in order to get the bed liner to stick. So that might be a good solution for the fact that this truck was actually used as a truck. All right, coming back around the rear here. Looks like we got some scratches right below the tail light here. I don't know if you can see it in the video. Just light scratches right there. A lot of the scratches that are on this truck are very light and can probably be buffed out with a rubbing compound. Looks like on the back bumper, we have the little bit of the plastic pulling away from the bumper here on the back side. Coming down the right side of the truck. Now, I don't know if you can see this in the video or not, but there are some very light, like almost like a bush went, went along the trucking. So, there, like I said, most of those can be probably uh, buffed out with a rubbing compound, but they are there and I wanted to show them to you. The uh, right side rear door looks good. There's a little bit of a the, the heavier scratch right here. And then, if I can get the angle just right, I think you might be able to see some of the just light scratches through it that look like, like, like I said, they might have gone through the brush or the woods. Coming down the right side, same thing up in here, just very light scratches in the paint. And the rest of it looks pretty good. Here's, this is the right front tire. And the wheel looks great. Now actually there's a little bit of uh, corrosion here on the, on the wheel. And then moving around to the front end, 
What's, what's missing on this is there aren't a whole lot of rock chips. There's a few of them across the front, but not as many as we typically see here in North Idaho. And the hood and the top of the vehicle look great. Okay, now I'm going to move to the inside. And this is an LT trim level with cloth interior. You have uh, power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, and all of the, uh, that looks good here. The uh, inside of the door panel is nice and clean and straight. Coming in the uh, truck itself, there is some um, staining to the cloth on the driver's seat here uh, that we did not, were not able to get out of detail. I, I hope you can see that in the video. And there's a little bit of staining here on the seat. This is the center console. You have center storage here in the console. And of course, this lifts up so that you'll have the uh, third uh, passenger seat in the front complete with seat belts. And then there's also under seat storage as well, which is lockable with the ignition key. Moving into the vehicle, you can see that you have your cruise control uh, controls on the, on the steering wheel. And then moving over here to the other side of the steering wheel, you have the uh, Bluetooth controls and then controls for the radio for moving uh, the source, you know, changing the source, moving channels up and down, and then volume controls are back here. The truck has something called tow haul mode which you see a little picture of the uh, trailer right there, so that when you are actually towing with the truck, you, it changes the shift points to accommodate for the fact that you are actually pulling the vehicle. As I mentioned in the uh, first part of the video, you got dual zone climate control, so the driver has their settings over here for temperature, and then the passenger has their own over here as well. Additionally, there is a USB port here for hooking your phone to play tunes off of your phone through the, the, the um, radio and you've got a 12 volt power charger there as well. The, the truck does have Bluetooth in it so you can hook your uh, pair your uh, phone to the truck and make and take phone calls through the speakers in the truck. Coming to this side you got the uh, got a lower glove compartment with the uh, user manual and then there's an upper glove compartment as well here. And quite frankly, the, the dash is in very nice condition. Everything looks good across the front. You do have an auxiliary input as well for an iPod or to play your music. The, 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 the actual ceiling in here or the roof, the inside panels look nice and clean. A little bit of dirt right here, but I think something that would certainly come out. Moving to the back seat. Oh, by the way, there are WeatherTech floor mats. In, in uh, all through the truck, at least the, I'm sorry, the front two seats have uh, WeatherTech floor mats, driver and passenger seat, and the carpeting under the uh, mats, uh, the WeatherTech floor mats look good. Coming to the back, of course, this doesn't get as much use as the front seat, and the back seat actually looks pretty good. A little bit of dirt here in the center, uh, and actually, I think that is dirt that can be vacuumed. I'm going to lift these actually fold so that you have a very flat storage surface behind the uh, front seats. The other side folds as well. And quite frankly, the uh, back seat looks very good. You have fold down armrest with uh, cup holders there. And the condition of all the door panels in the truck look very good. If you have any questions, please give Lauren a call at Taylor & Son Chevrolet. And uh, you can reach us at 208-263-2138. Thanks so much for your interest in the truck.